Hi folks and welcome to Fireflower Herbal. Um, so this is going to be my YouTube channel. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, I've be, I'm a herbal student. Um, I've been doing my own um, social media posts on plants, foraging, um, how to make things for a while. People have been asking me for a YouTube channel so here we are. Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a journey for me and for you, so bear with me while I learn how to edit and make things pretty. Um, with that in mind as well, obviously my methods of doing things are going to be mine, I'm not saying they're the right methods, they're just how I do things. Um, you might find them useful, you might find them not. Um, the same with identifying plants, I'm going to show you obviously how to identify plants, how to use them. Um, but ultimately, you know, you are still responsible for being in charge of what you put in your own mouth. Um, you know, I'm no one person is an expert. Always check your resources, and that includes me. Um, I also wanted to talk as well a little bit about um, on the channel. You may hear me referring to plants. Um, you may hear me using gendered language with plants and I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, I am an animist. I believe that plants are their own spirits in their own rights and that they have their own personalities and that they have their own preferred ways of being referred to, same as us. Um, how do we know? Well, we ask. Um, that being said, how I interpret what they say to me is going to be different to what you interpret what they say to you. So if I refer to a plant as he or she, and you get something completely different, both of those things are valid. Um, there's no one rule when it comes to these things. It's all about talking to the plants and listening to what they have to say to us and what they have to say to us. It's gonna vary from person to person. So we're out today in a little patch of land that is, um, it's close to where I live. You can probably hear the cars behind me. So we're gonna have a little look at some of the stuff around us. So we've got some wild garlic here. If you smell this, it smells like wild garlic. And you can see I've got it growing everywhere in this little patch here. And I wanted to talk as well about these little little plants for here. So these are celandines. So if you're not familiar with um, with plants, they'd be really easy to mix up with buttercups, but they're not a cup shape. They are a little star shape, as you can probably see. And I've got you can see them carpeted all around this area here. They are a member of the buttercup family though. And one of the folk names for these is pilewort. Um, and they were used in folk remedies for piles and for, um, for things like that. I've got a copy here of coal pepper. So this is, coal pepper is a famous herbalist and just read you out what Culpepper says about this. Um, let's have a look. So he says, here's another secret for my countrymen and women. Pile wood made into an oil, ointment or plaster readily cures both the piles and hemorrhoids and the king's evil. This very herb born about one's body next to the skin helps in such diseases though it never touched the place grieved. Let poor people make much of it for those uses. With this, I cured my own daughter of the king's evil, broke the sore, drew out a quarter of a pint of corruption and cured without any scar all in one week's time. So the king's evil, it says here, refers to the unusual swelling of lymph nodes um, or hard to get rid of tumours. And um, it's still used for this in folk remedies today, which is quite interesting. And this time of year, it, as I said, you can absolutely find it everywhere, carpeting the ground. Um, it has 
these little, I think they're almost like club shaped leaves on them. So that's one to look out for. So I hope that um, we're going to go on a nice little journey on this YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for watching.